when we think of South America, names like Colombia, Argentina, and Brazil often come to mind. However, there's a less talked about but equally fascinating part of this continent, the Guyanas. Nestled in the northeastern corner of South America, this region is now the stage for a geopolitical drama with far-reaching implications. As we speak, Brazil's military is on high alert. Their eyes are fixed on a significant movement of Venezuelan troops and equipment near the border of Guyana. But this is no ordinary maneuver. It's a chess move in a high-stakes game over a land known as the Guyana Sikiwa. Stretching over 61,000 square miles, Guyana Sikiwa is more than just a piece of land. It's the heart of a historic dispute, rich in resources and culture, claimed by Venezuela but controlled by Guyana. And now, rumors are swirling that an invasion is imminent, and the world is watching to see if this long-standing territorial dispute will emerge into something larger. Let's dive in. Let's step back a bit. Back in the 16 and 1700s, European powers were busy claiming lands far from home. Spain had a grip on what is now Venezuela, while the Dutch settled in to the Sikiwa region. Fast forward to 1814 and the Netherlands handed over their territories to Britain, which this area later on became known as British Guyana. But Venezuela, fresh from its independence from Spain, contested this, claiming the land based on historical Spanish entitlements. Throughout the 1800s, Britain pushed west into Sikiwa, but Venezuela wasn't pleased about it and sought a peaceful solution. But when talks stalled, Venezuela turned to the USA, banking on the Monroe Doctrine to discourage European interference in the Americas. Then an international tribunal in Paris was set up in 1898 and their decision favored British Guyana. But years later, Venezuela cried foul again, claiming this decision was biased. So even though British Guyana became independent Guyana in 1966 through the Geneva Agreement, their territorial dispute with Venezuela continued, simmering on the back burner. The funny thing is, Guyana has another border dispute with Suriname at its southeastern border, which means that only 20% of Guyana's area is not involved in a territorial dispute. But let's circle back to why these two countries really are fighting over Guyana's keyboard. Simply put, it's a treasure chest brimming with natural wealth. This vast area, accounting for two thirds of Guyana is overflowing with oil, gas, gold, diamonds, and valuable timber. It's like nature's jackpot, and understandably, both Guyana and Venezuela want a piece of this lucrative pie. Now, Venezuela's commitment to pursuing this territorial claim over the region has fluctuated over time. Its interest was only peaked again in 2015 when ExxonMobil announced it had found oil in commercial quantities off the Sikiwa coast. You see, Guyana controls this land, but Venezuela is claiming it as part of its territory and that these ventures are violating its sovereignty and territorial integrity. It's like a classic case of what's mine is mine and what's yours is still mine, according to them. Beyond just the abundant resources, the Guyana Sikiwa is also a symbol of strategic location and national pride. Control over this region means a stronger position in South American politics, not to mention the economic boost from exploiting its natural resources. Now, let's talk about Brazil's role. First up, we have Jair Bolsonaro. During his tenure, Bolsonaro had a pretty straightforward stance. He wasn't a fan of Venezuela's leadership under Nicolas Maduro and made no secret of it. Aligning closely with the U.S., Bolsonaro was more vocal in supporting Guyana, seeing Venezuela's actions as aggressive and illegitimate since he saw Maduro as a threat to regional stability and democracy. And then in 2023, Brazil's government transitioned from the conservative right leadership of Jair Bolsonaro to the center-left Luis da Silva, also known as Lula, a longtime supporter of Maduro. This change isn't just a shift in political ideology. It's a pivot in international relations, especially concerning Venezuela. So even though Brazil Brazil is sympathetic to Guyana, it's hard to see Lula taming measures against one of his biggest allies. However, Brazil has upheld a policy of non-interference in foreign conflicts for centuries, a principle that Bolsonaro had sought to shift, but Lula is likely to reinstate. In the thick of the Venezuela-Guyana conflict, this means Brazil under Lula might take a step back from outright support for either side and focus on defending Brazil's sovereignty and territorial integrity, all while potentially playing a mediating role in the conflict. That is why Brazil 
has recently beefed up their military presence along the northern border due to a significant movement of military equipment and personnel in eastern Venezuela on the border of Guyana. It's a way of saying we're keeping our eyes open and we're prepared. Either way, Brazil's role here is crucial. As South America's largest country, its actions and stance can sway the regional balance. This increased military presence isn't just about Venezuela and Guyana. It's about maintaining stability in the region and safeguarding Brazil's own territorial integrity. So what happens if things escalate? First, let's consider the economic impact. The Guyana Sequoia is rich in resources like gold and diamonds, putting it on the global radar and making it a hot spot for mining companies. Any escalation could disrupt these industries Industries, leading to fluctuations in global markets and impacting investments worldwide. Meanwhile, in Guyana, the tension is palpable. In Sarama, a village in the Sikiwa region, life goes on with harvest festivals and community events. Yet beneath this normalcy, there's a sense of unease, a referendum set to take place on Sunday by Venezuela to make Sikiwa a Venezuelan state, which has left residents anxious and uncertain of what the future holds. So here's the bottom line, and this isn't just a two-country tussle anymore. It's a situation situation that could affect regional stability and put international laws to the test. Big organizations like the ICJ and the Commonwealth are stepping in, showing that what happens here could have ripple effects far beyond South America. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Also, let me know what you think in the comment section. So guys, we just recently launched this channel and we noticed that 99.9% .9 of our viewers are not subscribed. So if you enjoyed this video, we need your help in growing this channel. By subscribing, that would help us keep the lights on and make sure that our crews have jobs in these uncertain times. So please hit that subscribe button and we promise to make more quality videos that I'm sure you're gonna love.